His vision was for a new type of engine based on a revolutionary and somewhat frightening concept. Ignite a mixture of compressed air and fuel between two connected fans, then harness the resulting force from the explosion to drive the plane forward. The concept was ahead of its time. The Whittle approach used one large compressor disc at the front of the engine. The disc forced air outward centrifugally into combustion chambers that encircled the central disc. The German axial flow engine was entirely different. Instead of one large disc and peripheral combustion chambers, it used a series of small discs that compressed the air tighter and tighter into one central combustion chamber. In the centrifugal engine, the only way to force more air into the combustion chambers was to increase the size of the disc, making the engine fatter and less aerodynamic. More compressor discs to increase the airflow. This meant a longer, more slender engine, far better suited for sleek fighter planes. But in 1944, the axial flow engine did have one big disadvantage. 